Matt, second fight on the prelims, UFC 250 coming at us from the Apex facility in Vegas. We've got two light heavyweights that are looking to prove something. And the former RFA light heavyweight champ, Devin Clark, coming at us from Jackson Wink MMA, taking on the one and only Alonzo Menafield. Matt, Alonzo Menafield's 11-0 pro and amateur combined. He's finished every single fight. This guy has dynamite in his hands so far in the UFC. Big wins over Vinicius Mojea as well as Paul Craig. And you can say what you will about the two of those guys, but both primary grapplers, he passed those tests with flying colors. And if you go back to his fight against Paul Craig, you'd be hard pressed to find a bigger highlight reel knockout. Craig going for the spinning kick to the body, Menafield following it up and knocking the HE double hockey sticks out of Paul Craig. But he's coming in against a tough opponent in Devin Clark, a guy who's taken on some really tough tests in the UFC and hasn't fared very well against them. So Matt, what do you make out of this fight? So first of all, with Devin Clark, I'm just going to tell you what his record is in his last six fights. He lost to Jan Blahovich. No shame in that. He's pretty much the number one contender. He beat Mike Rodriguez by decision, to be expected. Then gets knocked out by Rakic, beats Darko Stosic, loses to Ryan Spann, and then beats Daquan Townsend. So you can see in his losses, he's losing to world-class fighters. I think we both agree. All three of those guys are world-class. Yeah. But the thing is, he's beating guys who he's supposed to beat. Now, even though he is giving a pretty good showing of himself in his losses, Metafield does all those things that Devin Clark doesn't react to well. Metafield moves forward, hits hard, and just keeps on going forward. Never stops. That's what Alexander Rakic did. That's what Jan Blachowicz did. That's what Ryan Spann did. So when you have a game plan like that set up for how to beat a guy, and really, both guys' skill sets are quite similar. It just men feels the bigger, stronger guy of the two. And when both guys pretty much do the same thing, you always have to go with the bigger, stronger. Devin Clark has to have, by weight class, the biggest legs that you're ever going to see in pro sports, possibly. Yeah. But he doesn't really use the leg kicks enough. And that's the problem against a power guy in Alonzo Menafield. If, if, you know, two skinny guys critiquing the fight game had one thing to say, it would be, kick the heck out of Alonzo Menafield's legs oh, yeah. and maybe you can take away some of the power. You see that in a lot of the different divisions. But if we look over at the odds, Alonzo Menafield a minus 230 favorite, Devin Clark coming in plus 185 underdog. Over on Tapology, out of 745 votes, 92% going with Alonzo Menafield, 88% predicting a knockout. How do you see this one? I mean, it's very hard to disagree with the 92%. And then also with the 82% of those 92 I think Menfield is going to get done by stoppage. I'd be very surprised if this goes to the third round, much less goes to a decision. Yeah, I'm going to be predicting the same thing, going with Alonzo Menafield in this one. But Matt, a really interesting matchup and a great card. I mean, there's a lot of sleeper fights on this one. Five minutes for our main event between Amanda Nunes and Felicia Spencer. Two minutes for the rest of the main card and the prelims. Matt, as we always say with Fight Night Picks, let's get into let's it. Let's get it.